Hello everyone, and welcome to what you all have debanded. Your gang, Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Uh, oops. Touch bad. Um, let's see. Sorry if I'm not going to be showing uh, the bottom screen. It's kind of rough getting the actual recording device for 3DS, but, um... I'll, I'll mostly, I'll probably occasionally show the bottom screen in case anything goes wrong, or there's, if there's something of interest. But right now, uh, we're just going to be the top screen, and we're going as Aeon. Of course. <clears throat> All right. Um. So where where can I start? Uh, well, in the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend held dear. Uh, wow, that was fast. <laughs> I'll just let you guys read it while I uh, talk along because the intro is kind of silent mostly. Let's see. <clears throat> I guess I, I could go with how I encountered this game. Well, like many of the games I encountered during my early years of growing up as a child, uh, it was related to my older brother who pretty much taught me many things about video games in general. Uh, he got Ocarina of Time, and he really enjoyed that game, but then, uh, seeing this game, I think either the trailers or it was on shelves, he was just very stoked that there was another Zelda game with his, which was a sequel to Ocarina of Time coming out. And so he got it. We got the N64 version, which, like, had... The weird 3D graphic on the cartridge, which was also golden too, so it was really neat. I think, uh, no, our Green of Time cartridge wasn't golden. I hope this, uh, this game's loud enough for you guys. And sorry if I'm kind of loud. My, my ears are kind of been feeling a bit weird lately, so I've been hearing things a bit different. I'm gonna get a doctor to check that out. Enough about my life! <laughs> Ooh, I've been working on... I gotta, I gotta think of what I can get. If only Twitch was here. If only Twitch was here. It'd be perfect for Skull Kid. <clears throat> I'll just read it and give it a personality. <laughs> you two fairies did great! I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy? Well, that shouldn't be in trouble. I honestly love the interaction in the beginning scene. The Skull Kid is just so silly. What a pretty ocarina! Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it! I wanna see! <laughs> I don't know why, that <laughs> just gets to me. <laughs> just, just lean in. <laughs> and just, I'm so, oh god. You can't tell. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, I know. Tattle is a girl, but uh, oh my god, Tattle Tail! I, I literally, <laughs> I just got that after like over ten years. I'm not realizing the connection. Tattle Tail, oh my god, shows what I know with Zelda. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but it's, it's, why can't I try it out too? <laughs> they still have the same, like, freaking <laughs> half lead face. <laughs> as much as how dark they say Ocarina of Time, I mean, Majora's Mask is, this game really has a lot of its silly moments. I gotta say, compared to, um, 
compared to Ocarina of Time 3D, which we'll, we'll get to after this game, I'm pretty sure. I'll do a 100% playthrough on this one. Compared to Ocarina of Time 3D, this one sure does, like, have more, I guess, animations onto it. Because the textures and all the models seem pretty the same. They just added, like, more animation to it. They can do flips! Parkour! Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez, this style effect is coming back to me. <laughs> on 3D. I'm not going to turn on the 3D because for the sake of your eyes, but this scene here looks really trippy on 3D. My eyes cannot handle that. <laughs> It's like LSD trip to Alice in Wonderland. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that said to it. There's no point in riding a thing like that. So I did you a favor and got rid of it. <laughs> oh, boo hoo! Why the sad face? I thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come on now. Do you really think... Oh. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> now that's a good luck for you. You'll stay here looking like- Oh my god, I'm not pressing any buttons. Let me read the text. <laughs> the fairy growls. Sis! Oh, Skull can't wait for me. I'm still here. Dale, you can't leave without me. Somehow, she can't open doors. How would fairies get around in the in the world? You! If it wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? What is there something stuck in my face? Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on, a helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up! Oh, Tail, I wonder if that child will be alright on his own. I highly doubt that. So, one of the things I actually, other than how Deku, a Deku Link looks really nice, one of the things I did notice, if you do this spin, there's like a little, like, it's a bunch of, like, sharp tree branches that grows from his hat. It's, don't know if you can tell well, but it's pretty cool. Uh, we haven't gotten into his special with magic yet, but, yeah. I also, I don't know if you can tell from here, but I, hey, wait for me, don't leave me behind. So, um. That's stuck back there, I, um, apologize, so, so take me with you. You want to know about that skull kid who just ran off, right? Well, I'm just so happy to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you, and I'll help you deal. Please? So, good, so then settle. Now that I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch the skull kid. Name's Tattle, so uh, it's nice to meet you, or whatever. Now that we got all that straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure... Okay, da 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 It looks like... Well...
as I was saying. Um, this game... I don't know if it's because they added more animations to it than how the N64 did, but it just feels like movement is a bit slower. Maybe. I, I can't exactly put my finger on it. There we go, first chest. Or item. The Deku Nut. Pretty much is an essential to being a Deku Sprout. Deku. So, I'll go to items. The item, the bottom screen of the items like this. Same with the mask, as we'll get later on. We'll have four uh, spots to put it on, on our X and Y. And one, two, is we have to tap to use the item. So, I'll just set up to the X button, and we'll be on our way. Strange, but the way you look right now well, sort of reminds me of this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying in a second now. How sad. Oh, right, I can move the camera because I'm using the new 3DS, so I have like a little nub there for camera movement. Really useful. But I gotta say, uh, I never realized till they're on on a video many years ago that this was like pretty much the Deku Sprouts that uh, we are if that makes sense like this is this is uh, the Deku Sp Sprouts Butler's uh, son that we'll get to later on in the one of the new areas and this is kind of like his remains and the, the Skull Kid pretty much had used magic of the spirit to form us into I guess what uh, we are now, a mix of Link and the Deku Sprout. So, so yeah, essentially when we get the mask of this form, we're using the spirit of that Deku Sprout. Ah, Song of Healing. So I'm just taking in the sights of this game. It just looks really good. Like this game has been demanded for an HD remake for a long time. We don't need those. All the guys are in my head. Oh crap. Okay. Um. If I remember correctly. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <laughs> uh, I'll try. I'm trying. I'm trying to do a lighter tone of uh, meta time. I I know the happy mask shop. I travel far and wide to search of mask. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I found you. <laughs> now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. Yeah, God, this guy is so <laughs> creepy so many levels. For I know a way to return you to your no former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from me, I will return you to normal. In exchange? All I have is that you also get back my precious mask that I am stole from me. What? Is it not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be no means but be a difficult task. Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if I, you couldn't bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. 
There's Mario. <laughs> the mask of Mario. Oh, and one more thing. Please be so kind as to direct your gaze over there. Okay, tutorial, tutorial. They really change a lot in this game, which, like, it helps out a lot due to, like, what the N64, like, you can exactly get things early on to how this game gives you. But still, it's, uh... There, they did relocate some things and all that stuff. I think I'm going to be able to get this done in one video because I, you can really speed through all this. It gives me the creeps. That mask tells me what's the... Sorry, just thinking out loud. I wonder if, like, Tattle knows who the mass salesman is. Or that's just, like, was the creepiest or something, I don't know. For three days, even if we never sleep, that will leave us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Don't worry, Link goes adventures without sleep all the time. But don't just stand there, we're going to go see the Great Fairy. Like, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? Great Fairy will know what he's up to, so watches. she watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Pretty sure the Great Fairy lives in a shrine somewhere here in town. Where? Well, somewhere. Don't press me up for details. I don't come to this town very often. You, you couldn't try talking to one of those kids who hang out around town. One of them might know where the shrine is. Get away, dog. Ugh, we'll get to your quest later. You're you are gonna be a pain in the butt. Yeah, if we do to one hundred percenting this game, we're gonna have to do handle pretty much one of the hardest side quests for a mask to ever happen. I wouldn't say this is a speed run, but if you just know everything from the back of your hand, you can technically make this a speed run. And you don't need the sword to get I would like to hit the save points. That's really great. Online the N64, you could not save at all during this point. So if something were to happen, like power went out, the game crashed or something, you had to restart from the very beginning. Oh, jeez. The worst. The worst thing you did in 64. Don't worry. We got the fairy. I gotta say. Hmm. With, um, uh, comparison to Ultra in Time and this, telling you, young one of the altered shape, that you have turned me, my broken shadow body, into normal. I'm great for imagine. Okay, as I was saying, um, when it comes to between this and Ultra in Time, or maybe other Zelda games, I feel like what really makes Majora's Mask, like, a lot of people's favorites, I wouldn't say it's like the creep factor. Or anything. I just feel like it's the personality this game has. Like the every single in uh, a uh, PC character or a uh, AI character uh, has like a backstory within them. Quests, regardless if it's a mass quest or not, they still like give the world that you're in like amount of color because there's really not that um, much to explore in this game if you like compared to like Ocarina of Time and all that stuff uh, there's really not a lot 
Now I'm wondering if we have to do the uh, hide and seek because I know the code already without even playing. Unless it's randomized, then we're gonna have to do the hide and seek. Okay, so I believe it's two, three, one, five, four. Right. Hold on, I'm gonna try again. Two, one, three, four. No. Yep, you're gonna have to do the hide and go seek. You can't skip that. Huh. Oh, right, we then. I don't think we're going to get done with, like, the whole being stuck as a Deku, uh, in one day. I like how there's a, a reticle to aim. Um, uh, but yeah, it's just that, um, like, even these kids, for example, they really, like, don't have simple, like, uh, simple text dialogue of like giving you hints or whatever. It's every character has its own personality, especially like depending what day or what or whatever. It really um, well, it makes you think, it makes you feel like you're in a uh, you're in the world in a sense. Okay, so one's up there. Are they in the box? Like it's one. In... Okay, no. I remember they're a lot harder to get, but really, this one, this version is easy because you had you can just spin at them, knock them down, and then tag them. Link is, Link is safe. <laughs> Link is not fun to play tag, tag hide and go seek. And if I'm right, yep. No, no. All right, come on. No. Please hurry. Please, 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 I'm surprised, like, Link's not killing these kids with that. <laughs> like, you hear a thump on him. Like, he's, like, whacking them with his hat. But it's essentially, like, a giant log, so... <laughs> Link, you're hurting children. <laughs> there, got them all. Okay, so yeah, it is randomized. Two, one, five, three, four. Okay, because when I played this before, it was two, three, one, uh, five, four. But it's two, one, five, three, four. One, five, three, four. Two, one, five, three, four. Two, one, five, three, four. Uh, 
I got about four minutes to go. Oh my god. There you go. Now, I really like the obs the uh, observatory, because the music is really nice, and once you get up to the top, you have all of these, like, colors and stars here. It's really cool, in my opinion. Like, I really like it. Now, I'm going to fast forward to day three, nighttime, I believe, with this guy. So you don't have to, like, wait around and all that stuff. So, dance! Dance for my amusement! I hope I get to be able to, like, show the neat thing uh, that happens if you look through the telescope on day three. Because on day one and two, Skull Kid, like, just laughs at you and shakes his butt on you. Like, he knows you. He knows that you're watching and all that stuff. And a second day, come on. Okay, now in the final day, so we'll be able to get all this done pretty much the next video and all that. So, hopefully, I can show you guys. Oh, look. It's so creepy. Like, Skull Kid's twitching and all that. But I feel like that's more of, like, the mask controlling him. Okay, so, I gotta stop now. But in the next video, we will get to the top of the tower on the final day. And I'll leave you with that creepy face.